snooze, you sick bastard! Nope. We can do better than that. Roll the new bumper! So there's a lot of talk about GMOs, genetically modified organisms, the superfoods, the frankenfoods, you know the stuff. Crazy agri-scientists have been working for, I don't know, a generation or so to splice together new genes to make crops produce higher yields, to make them more resistant to bugs, to make them resistant to very specific pesticides. And there's been some pushback. Maybe it's legitimate pushback, maybe it's not. I was of the camp that we should be cautiously optimistic, a bit skeptical. And Bill Nye was of the same belief. Well, Bill Nye was invited by the scientists of Monsanto to come out, see their lab, see their procedures, check it out, see what he thinks. And he came out of it. A changed man. He said, yeah, I've seen it. My concerns have been assuaged. I am no longer fearful of GMOs. And since Bill Nye is a man of science and someone I've trusted since I was a kid, watching him as the science guy, that convinced me. I am convinced the concern over GMO crops is grossly overhyped. But that doesn't explain the behavior of the likes of GMO and their ilk. Why all the double secret dealings? Why all the attempts to obscure the science behind it? Why no outside testing? Why do they spend millions, if not tens or hundreds of millions, fighting things like labeling? They don't want us to know if there's GMO in the foods we're eating. Guess what, guys? There is. Just plain and simple, there is. If you buy any processed food, potato chips, you know, Doritos, soda pop, any of that stuff, if it's got more than maybe five or six ingredients, you can bet your ass there's GMO in it. So what do they think? We're going to stop buying food altogether? Let the people on the fringes who have the money to avoid GMOs and the inclination, let them do it. Why fight it so hard? If you have nothing to hide, why do you spend so much money hiding it? It's, it's really cause for alarm. Uh, the no outside testing thing is, is pretty alarming too. And I gotta say, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. So yeah, GMOs, I'm, I'm personally, personally, I'm okay with them. I don't think it would change my buying habits. I'm certainly not more inclined to buy organic over non-organic goods. And that's in part because organic has its own whole host of problems. But that's because I've researched them myself. And maybe I'll address those in another podcast. But, you know, guys, if you have nothing to hide, why in the hell do you work so hard to hide it?